Hey everybody, my name is Joshua Fikir. And my name is Sue Ann Fikir. And, and we, we want to welcome, welcome you to, to the, the first. first. If you haven't done so already, we just want to invite you uh, to take a brief moment to just scroll down, like, subscribe, and share the content. This is meant to be helpful to each other, and so we want to make sure we keep the encouragement going. And if you don't know by now, the first stands for finances, intimacy, relationships, sex, and time. But we also like transparency. Absolutely. We have a good topic for you today. We're going to be talking about supporting your significant other, supporting your spouse. Mm -hmm. I'm in a relationship where two people can be going to going through two different seasons, and it's being able to understand each other, finding that balance, right? Where both of you can be prosperous and both of you can be mm -hmm. achieving new things right. in your own life, but also in your relationship. This is so important because it's it goes back to what we talked about initially uh, when we first started the channel. We actually have a video that we're going to put in the comment section below. The name of that video is The Purpose of a Relationship. And really, when you think of a relationship, you're thinking of two individuals that's coming together with their own strengths and weaknesses and figure out how to find balance to become one. Balance is key to making sure a relationship is, is prosperous. And so today we're talking about how do you support each other in a relationship? Definitely. I mean, I don't want to start no fights and we don't, we're not here to, you know, get a boxing match going, but we just want to help you all to be able to find that balance because mm -hmm. there's a lot of situations mm -hmm. where one person in the relationship may feel as if man I'm not doing nothing with my life mm -hmm. their self-worth or their value decreases mm -hmm. but we want to encourage you just to be able to learn how to support each other learn mm -hmm. how to support one another if you feel like you just achieved this don't don't be selfish and be like, okay, it's, I, I got to keep going. I got to keep going. Because you know what? It's interesting. You can have two people in a relationship going through two different seasons. You know, one person could be experiencing a, a season of high where, you know, they just got a promotion. And the truth is, the two of you win together. Uh, so, but sometimes one person is just on the momentum. They're on the roll. And someone else just feels like I'm still trying to find me in our relationship and so it's understanding that there's a balance so you know if you if one person if I accomplish something and I'm and and, and Swen is supporting me you know I, it's not me getting used to j just being that way it's supposed to be a two-way street so it's now it's like so but you know what you have this dream too what are we going to do to get you to accomplish yeah. that it, goal as well it's just right that you support each other it's mm. not one person pushing mm. one and always pushing that person right. and the other person is like well what about me right it's about you pushing each other and making sure that you all are growing together and getting to the next level mm -hmm. and that's how you remain equally yoked absolutely you know you don't want this person to be here and then because this person was pushing you right you now begin to see that person as being not on the same level as you right you want to make sure that you're both achieving and you're both growing in one way or another is really being cognizant as to what is happening in each other's season what we find often a lot of times is that there's in the relationships things can get really sour really fast but what was happening is that underneath the surface there was tension rising things are not being vocalized and so one person feels like they're playing the background and if someone is happy back there that's that's one thing that's different but it's still re the responsibility of the other significant other or spouse to make sure they're checking in mm -hmm. and to say well you know what I mean are, are you good was there anything you want to do that I can support you mm -hmm. because what we find is that sometimes people are growing in different directions just because things are not being talked about it's about communication so sometimes you just got to have a conversation when you're with your spouse and say what's what season are you in you Definitely. know what you're working on in this season what's <laughs> what is your goals in this season look at it from this perspective certain things are planned certain mm -hmm. things are spontaneous right certain things may just surprise you right. because of uh, some outside factor or some outside variable for example two weeks ago I, I went ahead and just quit my job I, I, I left them I couldn't do it at first because I'm thinking about okay my family I'm thinking about all right we have a plan we're doing this we're doing that mm -hmm. 
but I looked at my husband and everything that I was going through with the stress level, it was just weighing me down. It was such a burden. Right. So I, I, I told my husband, I said, listen, I have to do this. I have to leave. And it's like, okay, what do you do if your spouse comes to you and says that? Yeah. Do you, were you like, wait, 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 wait. First, first of all, you're like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, okay. yes, yes. So when I said that to you, right. what were you feeling emotional wise? I know what I was feeling. Right. I was just like, oh my gosh, right. you know? I, I, remember, I remember I was working and I kind of stopped typing. <laughs> I had my earpiece on and I, was, I stopped typing and immediately I'm, I'm thinking, and this is, this is what's really good about this topic because immediately I'm thinking about how would this impact me or, or whatever. And I was like, but I'm listening. And it's, just really, it's really big that this is, when, you, when you're talking about supporting your spouse, you're not just hearing, you're listening. You know, there's a scripture that says, let him that has an ear listen and so and hear. And so I'm listening to, to Sue Ann and I know what was what has been going on for her. And I've seen like a, the manifestation of the stress on her life and how it was impacting her. And so when I heard Sue Ann she, and she said that to me, I kind of started to think about her and how can I support her? And we talked about it for a little bit. Right? <laughs> we, yeah, of course. We talked about it. We, it wasn't a short conversation. And then finally, we was like, you know what? I saw how this was going to benefit her in so many other ways. Um, and so, you know, I, I decided I was going to support her in that decision. Um, and so that was kind of my take. You know, I, I had to sit down and really hear what you were saying. And I think that's the big key to being able to support each other in their season because if you're not listening, you will never understand what season your significant other's in mm -hmm. and how much they need you in that season. Just, you know what oh, I mean? Yes, yes, please, please just take the time. Don't ignore what your significant other may be feeling. Don't mm -hmm. ever just brush it under the rug. Right. Always try to hear what they're, they're saying and mm -hmm. feel what they're feeling. Right. We need each other's support. Not even the kids <laughs> should be able yeah. to come up in there. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. You yeah. just you just got here. You just came, okay? <laughs> before, it was, before it was y'all, it was us. So yeah. back up. Yeah. You, sure. you are not going to take over my TV. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So let's get this together. Uh, with the kids, listen. Yeah. Support one each other. <laughs> Absolutely. You, you, you have that kid that'll cook. go to mommy and yes. be like, Mommy, can I have this? Yeah. yeah. Didn't you already have one? Yeah. No. Where do you think they're going next? Daddy. <laughs> and they say, Daddy, Mommy did it. I'm like, <laughs> before they ask And then they ask him yeah. the same question, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, then, and, and then Mommy will turn around and be like, wait a minute. Did yeah. not say, no, you couldn't have that? Yeah. Listen. But, but I, I, the whole time, because I was listening, I heard what was going on on the other side of the house. And I was able to support the answer. And so it's really, listening is a big key to understanding each other's season. Because you know what? If I could have came at Sue with a bunch of objections, wow. you know what I mean? I could have had a bunch of objections and then what we call, you know, in the counseling world, I could have discounted her feelings. I could have not really considered what she was thinking because I'm thinking about everything else. And sometimes what we all, what we all can find ourselves doing is while your significant other is speaking, you're already thinking about your response. Mm. You know, but the Bible says we ought to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. And so I think the more we listen to each other, mm -hmm. I think it's, I'm setting an example when I'm listening to you, you set an example, you listen to me, we can hear each other. And sometimes you find that you're both going in the same place anyways. I applied for this position and they interviewed me and recommended that I apply for a position that was higher than that one. And that was so scary for me because I was like, do I have what it takes? You know, if you if this position you like me for, th then I'll take it. The higher one is a bigger opportunity for us, but Sue stopped me. She was like, Josh, we've been praying about, you know, being able to position ourselves. We wanted to purchase our first home. And look at this opportunity that God opened the door for you. If God is opening that door for you, then it's meant for you to walk through it. And so I guess she saw that I was having, so, you know, some insecurities and about the position. But in that season, in that season, Sue spoke life into me. And she, she immediately understood. And you know, I said, you know what, you were right. With us, is supporting each other in our seasons is bringing us back
to the what we wanted to, what we're believing for so we now want to say to you that if there's anything that you want to do there's anything you want to achieve you are fully capable of doing it. Yeah, You're absolutely. fully capable of absolutely. transitioning and absolutely. allowing it to happen. As long as you support one another and absolutely. you have each other and absolutely. you have in your mind yeah. that you are going to win regardless of what happens, right. then you can win. Absolutely. The absolutely. victory is ours. God has already given it to yeah. us. Absolutely. God has already given it to you. It's about the purpose. I'll support your purpose because I know when you're walking in your purpose, the income is gonna come and it's gonna be more than we imagine act or think so I hope this helped you guys it's really about being transparent in your relationship and it's really about understanding what's happening on the other side of the bed um, you know for, for what's happening on the other side of the bed? it means you know with your spouse and significant whoa, whoa. other you know what I mean <laughs> and, 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 then, and, and then again if you're watching this we always say the first is not just for married people but for those who are going down that road together or if you if you're single you can find a good friend that you can be in partnership and hold hold accountable to so that you can support each other in your seasons as in, as single people definitely you know what i mean you don't have to, the bible says two is better than one and so find that person because iron sharpens iron and so Hey, that's what we're talking about, supporting each other, that's, that's, that's sharpening. So, we hope this blessed you. We are glad you're able to join us on the first. Um, again, my name is Joshua Fikir. And my name is Sue Ann Fikir. And we want to thank you for watching us on the first. And remember, keep God first. That's it. Bless you. Keep God first. <laughs>